everyone in this tutorial i will show you how to navigate to a web page and activate the web page using dba so in this uh, example we will be using the internet hero kuapp.com as a sample website which has a title the internet and the url the internet hero ukapp.com so we'll start with navigating to a web page so activate the macro by pressing alt f4 and the and here we'll start with creating a new module later but let's add a reference first make sure to add two references which are the microsoft html object library and microsoft internet controls okay so once those two references have been added you can start creating new modules so in this module we will name it um activate and navigate web page or ie so we'll start with uh, creating the first procedure navigate to a web page okay so let's start with declaring our main uh, object which is ie and make sure to set new IE and we'll start with uh, the IE settings so the visibility let's set it to true so we can see uh, once the IE is activated and then now let's navigate to the web page URL so let's copy this URL and paste it there so the next thing is to manage the web page loading so we need to to monitor once it's uh, once the site is loaded completely so we will be using the while i and now we can test it And, and it's working as expected so let's close that site first so now let's check if you were able to uh, manage the, the website loading by using the debug.print site is ready oops we had a new automation error why is that okay let's try to remove this for now and run it again and of course i should not delete that so let me back that uh, line of code and i think uh, we just missed to um, set the ie to nothing after our program is completed so run it again and we had the same result but i think the the debug the print uh, label uh, did not print uh, on the time we expect it so let's add another do while statement in here to ensure that the site is completely loaded before we do uh, the next action so we will be using ie the thread state and let's uh, delete this uh, immediate message first and Close this one and let's try it again okay I think it works now so, so that's all for the navigate web page procedure so um, but what if uh, you do not want to navigate to a web page what you want to do is to just activate the, that web page because it's already open so we need to create another procedure for for that type of scenario let's call it activate web page so we need to start with this procedure with a um for each loop that will check all the uh, applications open 
using the shell that application so let's start with a for each loop in the uh, shell that application and then uh, using this for each loop you will be able to capture what are the applications open in your computer so we will have to add another condition here that we just want to check is the internet explorer so what i will do first is to check if there is an internet explorer open so once there is let's print the internet explorer is open uh, message in our immediate window so just run it and yes it was able to detect that the internet explorer application is open so the next thing that we'll do is to check uh, what are the uh, web page open in my internet explorer so we'll do that by okay or should i do a loop no let's just thinking what how can we show it more in detail so i think it's much better if we just print all the open uh, tabs or web page in our uh, internet explorer using document title and document that url and wait, of course let's remove the exit for so the loop will work if there are multiple uh title and url in my in my application so let's try to test adding uh additional web page let's try google.com and what's another one um, let's try Amazon okay Google did not load let's try it again okay now let's run our code again and let's see yes it was able to uh, capture all the uh, document title and URL open in my Internet Explorer application okay so so now let's check it or activate only the web page with the document title the internet and if it's open let's print its url so let's try it yes it was able to capture that web page and activate it so in this uh in this line of codes meaning that the ie already handle that web page so you can now uh, add a new or add new or additional uh, automation codes like for example i think let's print uh, the inner text on that web page inner text are all the uh, label you can see in the web page and let's try it okay we had an error because of course we need to have the body before we go direct directly to the inner text so let's add that and let's set this ie to nothing to clear the object so let's try it again and as you can see here in my immediate window uh, it was able to capture all the inner text from the web page to my immediate window okay so this is how you can activate and navigate to a web page using BBA application